draw each combined function and state the domain and range. In part A, we'll draw the graph of h of x equals f plus g of x. The graph of h of x exists where f of x and g of x overlap. In all other regions, we don't have two y values to add. Add the y values at the beginning of the overlapping region to get zero. We must use an open circle for this point since it doesn't actually exist. The point 3, negative 2 is included in the graph of f of x, but the point 3, 2 is excluded from the graph of g of x. Therefore, the sum does not exist. Add the y values at the end of the overlapping region to get 1. Draw the graph of h of x. The domain of h of x is between 3 exclusive and 5 inclusive, and the range of h of x is between 0 exclusive and 1 inclusive. In part b, we'll graph h of x equals f minus g of x. The graph of h of x exists where f of x and g of x overlap. Subtract the y values at the beginning of the overlapping region to get 9. We need to get a second point on the graph of h of x so we can draw the line easily. Both graphs have points on the grid vertices when x equals 10. This is a good place to calculate our second point. The domain of h of x is x is greater than or equal to negative 4, and the range is h of x is less than or equal to 9. In part c, we'll graph h of x equals f times g of x. The graph of h of x exists where f of x and g of x overlap. Multiply the y values at the beginning of the overlapping region to get negative 10. Use an open circle since the point 0, 5 does not actually exist on the graph of g of x. Multiply the y values at the end of the overlapping region to get negative 10. h of x equals f of x times g of x becomes h of x equals negative 2 g of x since f of x equals negative 2. This is the same as the transformation equation y equals negative 2 g of x. Apply a vertical stretch by scale factor of 2, then a reflection about the x-axis. The domain of h of x is between 0 exclusive and 10 inclusive, and the range is between negative 10 and 0 inclusive. In part d, we'll graph h of x equals f plus g plus m of x. All three graphs overlap for the first time when x equals negative 2. Add all three y values to get 0. Use an open circle since the point 2, 7 does not actually exist on the graph of f of x. We need to get a second point on the graph of h of x so we can draw the line easily. All three graphs have points on the grid vertices when x equals 4. This is a good place to calculate our second point. All three graphs extend rightwards forever. The domain of h of x is x is greater than negative 2, and the range is h of x is greater than 0.